Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we're in the library and records office. Except for Asterians apparently hanging out downstairs still, that's good to know. I'm trying to see if I can... Oh! So we just decided to fall? That... Why? I clicked on it, hoping we would find an actual route down, and uh, we apparently didn't, so that's cool. Oh no, not group hide. No time I to dally. Just okay. Ah! I, don't, I don't care. Damn, it's good to be alive. <laughs> Since when have they done like falling things? Like they've never done that before. I don't really care. It's fine. While I'm at it. Oh here. Looking ahead. Oh no, Can't don't go down. outside. Urgent request for supplies. To Chief Blah 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 Harborside Hospital from the Wraithwind House of Healing. We've reached our times in Wraithwind War has come. Do you not do you not teach it is our duty to mend all who break, come for all who ail without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed? Yet our surgeon Malice Thorm abides by his own creed. The will of Shar, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patients' injuries to fester so he may study, and commands me to nurse only dark justiciers that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madame, please deliver us aid, so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound. Even those of harpers and selunites, we will humbly accept all you can offer. Potions, herbs, sutures, tutors, even clerics. Help us to heal. Uh, I wonder if Anna was one of the sisters. I think she probably was. Tanner's Delight. <laughs> Usually they work with much, much grosser stuff. So, apparently bodies get dragged into there from here. That's, uh, horrifying. Jar of coagulated blood. Hey, Asterion, you want some jar of coagulated blood? Anything oh, of use? And there's a note. Oh, are these just a bunch of? These are just a bunch of bodies. What? Shar's temptation. And a horn. Sure. These are yeah. I think a bunch of dead bodies. Staff bedding pool. Form body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet, 1 GP. Live rat, winner, ew. So the wine bottle carrot, candlestick, winner, ogre's finger, pearl necklace. Wow, so. What? So are they lodging things in people's bodies, or are they <laughs> just like having to deal with like what paramedics have to deal with when people put foreign bodies in, in inside themselves? Oh, gross. Where all this is supposed to be the library. Maybe I need more pockets. I'm not seeing much of a Wow, there is blood on the walls. Surgeon's memorandum, bone saw, potion of sleep. From Malice Thorn, head surgeon to all medical personnel, it has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Norse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve, relieve my ears if my subject screams as I apply the blade, not a mercy to be freely dispensed to living corse, corpses. So has, saith Shar, only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will fill my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Okay. Oh, there is a door over here. Okay. I was trying to break through, but I couldn't. 
They wouldn't let me break it, but they tried to barricade from the outside, apparently. With haste. Oh! Uh, oh, she was mentioned on the list. Lock. Cor Wait, are these... Are these the mother and father of the girl? Of the little girl? Very well. The doctors found oblivion. Well, no time to mourn. I'll fix this without him. Is that yeah. Arabella's father she's tending? Our little idol thief has some terrible luck. Are they dead? They are? Oh my gosh! Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. Uh... I think your work here is already done. I don't think she'll let me do anything with them if, if she's not gone. Yes. Yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Oh, uh, uh, can I? Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Well, let me, I guess, sell wares, so... That's something. I knew they were gonna be dead. But I was hoping to. Oh, is that? I don't know. I was hoping to get something off of them that would convince Arabella that her parents are dead. Oh, that sucks so much. I thought she'd leave. I don't know. I don't know why I had to persuade her of stuff, but she's still here. I'll give it a shot. An old map. Destination is Marcus Baldur's Gate. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. Okay, that's the note. But there was a healer's ledger. Yeah. I just realized too, I sold that woman a bunch of stuff, but I had a minus 25% discount, and I didn't realize that till I was bit, bit done. And I was like, dang it, because I killed the doctor, I think. Uh, the Wraith, when House of Healing, the inventory of various poultices, tonics, and potions, supplies appear to have dwindled dramatically in its final days, and upon the book front cover, a squad on message in black ink, just this year's only, no exception. Oops, that's not what I. What do you need now? Oh, well, he is just. Calm down. I, I even, I did I did the deception partially hoping that uh, Asterion would be pleased by that. And he was not, apparently. Like, he didn't do anything. He didn't respond, even though I was trying to be all sneaksy. I love, I have a music box in every game, in every one of my saves. Oh, this was like the t the children's room, maybe? It was practice sword, More stuff like that, you know? Well, let's finish with the House of Healing. Gosh dang, I knew her parents would be dead, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Oh, I did actually, I want to switch All right. back. What now? I switched to a bludgeoning weapon, but... I want to switch back to the sort of life stealing because it has light on it, which makes things in easier to see. And I was like, I can't see anything. And now I can. I actually really, really love this style of art, like anatomical, old sciencey, like anatomical drawings. It's one of my like 1800s type style, like a botanical or anatomy, and th this is fascinating. I'll have to let my sister know. My sister is really into art, and she's been doing some of these anatomical drawings lately. Um, I'll have to have her be like, hey, try to do, like, fantastical creatures or, like, fantastical, like, races. Like, this is a tiefling, I assume, you know? Um, 
and that could be really interesting. Like at some point you kind of like you use like existing like anatomical models, but then like you have to kind of branch out a bit, you know. I know I saw there was like a Like I swear near one of these I was seeing a note of some sort. A patient's registry. Oh hi. Oh geez. And I just yoinked it. Why aren't they like doing anything? Logged every patient along with their ailments. Okay, as we've seen eventually it's on the orders of general Kethrick Thorne they are not to be treating people who aren't just dark justice years cuz the doctor is absent today come back another time okay could you could I have just like walked in through this like front door here <laughs> oh my gosh look at all this and they would have been like, mm, yes, go in, yes, please. And I'd have been like, no, okay, I'm scared. Okay, she does not want me. Right, let's see if Keep I can get him darling. to stealth. Watch the shadows. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You guys stay over here. You come over here. Oh, she's unhappy about that purple worm toxin and a hospital library key. I guess just opening it maybe wasn't enough to set her off, really, but she's letting me know. All's well that Letting ends. me know that she sees Not us. as bad as it could have. Desert wine. Oh, I, this is the pair to that ring. One of the magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to cast warding bond once prolonged rest on our creature wearing the matching ring. The scholar of love, Joel Fearis Baldidians, writes that the next time he reads about a woman compared to a flower or any feature of geography for that matter, he's going to start knocking on Poe's doors with a sledgehammer. Same. This is the husband's diary. Okay. We're being attacked. My brave, beautiful Miranda volunteered to fight. She says it's her duty as a cleric of Shar. I can't bear the thought of anything happening to her, but I know she'd be angry if I said anything. I'll pray to Our Lady to keep her safe. Miranda woke me in full armor, a smile on her face. She got down on one knee and proposed, a beautiful obsidian ring in her hand. Of course I said yes. As a cleric, she was able to marry us then and there, blessing the rings as she slipped them on our fingers. I'm terrified for her, but I'm also happy. I knew she loved me. I knew it. Miranda faced down an entire troop of harpers, killing every last one. She didn't have a scratch on her. Blessed be the Lady of Loss. I tried to prepare a celebratory meal for her, but I had a dizzy spell. Blood poured from my nose, and Miranda found me passed out on the floor. She told me to rest and not to bother going to the house of healing, that it was likely the stress. She's right, but I'm still scared. Oh my gosh, this woman took advantage of this guy, and she's like, oh yeah, we're in love, blah, blah, blah. But like, she blessed the rings to be rings of warding. I know Miranda said not to, but I went to the house of healing. Blood leaks from my nose and my ears, and there's strange wounds all over my body. The nurse keeps asking about my ring. When I told her myself and Miranda just got married, she looked at me strangely. When I asked her what was wrong, she sent me home, telling me not to come back. There are black spots in my vision, and I can't feel my legs. What is wrong with me? What is happening? Oh my gosh. That woman, I don't know if she did it intentionally. I, I kind of assume so, because she's a Shar worshiper. Um, but she, I'm going to say she intentionally magicked that ring. So that What's hiding here? she wouldn't take the damage, you know, but that her husband would. And it wasn't actually, like, they weren't actually married. She just, like, cursed the ring, essentially, to do that to him. And it isn't, it's not like, I'm like, it's intentional. Like, you have, one person mm -hmm. has to cast the warding thing. So she was intentionally casting the warding thing. He goes nothing. Hey, look at that severed head. Oh my goodness. A shadow mastiff and a shadow cursed dwarf. Shadow cursed human. What is they? What are they looking at? There's a big hole in the ground. Listen, hang on. We'll get over there. I just wanted to see what this opened up into, and I'm gonna reverse back <laughs> and hang out in here. Actually, what I'm gonna do is look at these doors and see what's in here. 
Wait, is this just back down? Oh, this was just down to like the amphitheater. This is actually really well designed too, by the way. This definitely takes its cue from like the, like in the 1800s, the like amphitheaters essentially that medical um, houses were. I've only read about it a little bit and I've watched like a couple video essays because they're like fascinatingly morbid topics. But like this is like you, like surgeries weren't a personal or a hygienic thing by any means like they would literally just get somebody out here strap them to a table and there'd be an audience of people basically in an amphitheater and it was a show it was basically a show and many of the doctors would wear blood-stained aprons all over the place just to show and like like to show off like the morbidity of what they were doing right and it's like there was no there was no cleanliness like they very rarely washed their instruments and you'd have people out on here and they'd be getting surgery live and screaming you know because they didn't really have anesthetics at best they had like alcohol you know and uh and you just surgery them to death most of the time and it was it was just there was like a show of it right like you roll in the body from like where or roll in the patient from wherever you're keeping them right onto the show floor with the spectators and like it's incredibly gruesome but this is incredibly a uh, good design like historical precedent essentially on what they what they did here in this particular place so kudos to them i find that admirable i don't think there was really anything up the ladder that needed to be done i don't know why they would have access to like a second floor if there was nothing of use up here oh well here we go Always room for more. Ocean of invisibility. And a ball. And a stuffed bear. Wow. Mm, that's so sad. In a nest. Mm, wow. Sad. I'm sad. Oh. Aha. Book of poetry. Oh my gosh. Two people just died up here? They just like, I picked up a bottle. I don't want a bottle. No, take it back. Oh wait, is this? Okay. I'm bringing the stuffed bear because I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it is. I think it was just like a, a setting piece really, but I'm gonna bring it in case um, Arabella recognizes it. A book of handwritten poems, the ink almost completely faded, but for a few enduring words. I hold my breath for the sun to fall, for in the hot collapse of day I brought, I'm brought to you. While Raythwin sleeps, the wo world entire is ours. The grass, our bed, the dew, our silver candles, the moon and stars, our private canopy, and you the brightest of them all. My light, my heart, my world, I would watch the stars with you to the end of time, but night forever arches into day, and the sleepy nothing of the sunlight hours will mutter on. So instead I find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will I be brought to rest. As rest should be, enduring still, longing for naught but itself. But yeah. Not particularly to my taste, but it seems like they were probably saloon people who came up here to die together, so that they would not die apart, I suppose. Is that, what is that? Like? Why is there like nests of things? This is concerning to me. Come on, Asterion, I believe in you. <coughs> Shadow fungus, a lantern, and well, I think I'm. bound to head out and down and see what those shadow people want or see what's down there I, I don't want to do the uh, what you call it um, where Raphael was yet it feels like sort of end game area ish I at least want to finish the area I'm kind of in right now where's the way down there it is well, this is a very haunted, very horrific place, I tell you what. 
very Bioshocky, very reminiscent of like the horror stories of like the Victorian medicine and stuff. Can't give up now. But the attention to detail is excellent. That just leads us out. Yeah, I think I will. Those two women being here makes me feel like I've left things kind of undone, but... Oh no, where did Asterion go? Did he not... Someone there. Fool of a took. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it never bodes well me. when the House of Healing is next to a graveyard. I mean, it makes sense, right? And back again, back in the old days, um... In some old days, anyway, you, uh... They would experiment on, the, like, freshly buried bodies. It, it was supposed to be... I think, what was it? It was like... Or, like, you know, people died a lot in houses... In, in hospitals, in houses of healing, in places that were supposed to cure them. Hospital-type places. So it was easier to bury them if they're close by. But also, there was a problem with medical students being grave robbers for corpses. Corpse robbers. Um, because it was the only way to... For them, that they saw as being able to experiment on you know, non-living subjects, essentially, and, like, do the anatomical dissections on a human body, etc., etc. Anyway, it's super creepy. Let's see if I can't get a Sterian to do some sneaking. I think they have disadvantage against these targets. Oh, no, we can't do Spirit Guardians. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta think of something else to do with her. The turn on dead's pretty useful in this situation. I mean, right now these guys are like glitching out and I don't know. But three of them ran? Wow. Wow, oh, that was big. Oh, nice, I was blind firing into the area because it, it rolled, it saved on my invisib like sea invisibility thing. So I was like, I was swinging my sword in this area, and I had a stare and shoot in this area, but then I just had her sacred flame in the area, and we got it. So that was cool. Uh, Never a dull moment. Time for oh, not a, maybe maybe it's nap time. Maybe it's sleepy time. Um, but first we lose. Something good here, I hope. I don't know who these people were. They're just like it specifically says like they're not even harpers, right? They're just like people. Just like regular old people guarding uh, the morgue, I guess. Is that what this is? Um, I'm very curious. The morgue. This definitely makes sense, right? Like this is obviously connected to the House of Healing. We've got a graveyard, and we've definitely got a morgue going on. I kind of want to pop up and see. There's anything? Where is? Oh, I think my the light spell went away. Oh, we should. Okay, well, let's let's go to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna maybe have to talk to Arabella. Ah, uh, I almost don't know. Like, I want to kind of keep it from her, you know, because it's like, like I don't want her to like run off. Like, I want her to be safe here. She's a lot more relaxed in camp now. Darling. Ever since we got together. Alright. Doesn't look like anybody has anything to say to me, which kind of surprises me, and I don't I don't I don't relish this at all. Why she's hanging out with Withers is beyond me, but. Hey, where's Mom and Pops? I- that's so brutal! Uh... Your parents are dead. I found their corpses. No. No, no, no! I don't believe you! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Arabella. It isn't true. It isn't! 
Get away from me. Go. See, don't just don't run off, all right? I'm not going to push it, but just don't run away. That would not be smart. Maybe I should have had her go with you know the other people so she wouldn't be stuck here with me. Well, let's go to bed. Let's see. Also, I tried to change my boots, but it wouldn't let me change my boots, and now I'm barefoot, apparently, in camp. I don't know, like, I tried to do something different. Oh, hang on, pup, 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 I have... There we go. The dog is unable oh, to speak good. through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What do you got for me? I don't know. And maybe you can tell me. Salami. <laughs> All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Thank you. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. I love that he just brings me... I'm like, oh, thank you for the Shadow Curse Salami. I appreciate it. Thank you, doggy. Nobody else is yelling at me. Is Arabella? She, she is still here. All right. Well, let's uh, leave camp. Good. I should have maybe had her go with the people in the end. Then she would be with others her age. Instead, she's stuck with me. I just thought it would be safer here with, like, at my camp. Nothing happens at my camp, so far, anyway. This doesn't even look like bodies, really. Oh, let's do have... I, I was looking. actually really enjoying having the light. Oh, dang, it's on my crossbow this time. All right. So if I don't have my crossbow equipped, is that going to be... That's going to be a problem, huh? Yep. Dang it. I see, I think uh, Shadowheart has it too. Idle. Maybe a little bit of a waste, but la la. <laughs> I have two things that are lit up now. Yay! It's a lot easier to see in these dark areas. What's in here? A morgue with weaponry. Okay, because I was going to say, these look like piles of armor Breathe more than anything else. Oh, there's the. Okay, yep, there's the hood. I actually gave my spine the heebie jeebies. Wow. There's the bodies. I notice. Perception? That's curious. Oh, thank you. He's the only one who did it. A reminder, sister, do not forget that patients passing through these hallowed halls must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewelry, timepieces, extraneous gold amounts. These burdens can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall, that they not confuse matters between ourselves and Catherick's justice years. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings if possible. Okay, so you're just Cursed a bunch of thieving everything. bastards. Let's see. Ivard's Black Tentacles. Eldritch... I mean, I guess I'll, I'll keep it. It sounds cool. I have all these, th I have so many items that I'm just like, don't know what to do with them. There's a bunch of cool ones, but I'm just like, la la la. <laughs> like, I could give them to people. And I probably should. Like the the warlock one, I'm like like that one we just got. I'm like, oh yeah, we could send that to what's his name. I tried wearing like a different outfit. I don't. It's like I got like puffy sleeves, and I don't really like it on her. I like the more like pirate styled shirts. I guess is kind of how I'm thinking of them. I realize I just I just went from topic to topic really fast, and I don't know. I have a bunch of gear, I realize, and I should pass it out more evenly, but I don't sometimes unless I sit down and, like, really think about it, and it's like, look, I could give stuff to Will and Gale, but at this point I'm not really using them very often. Despite me liking them. I'm the zombie! It's a zombie! It's a zombie! It's- oh, oh, and there's probably, uh, somebody I could- Oh. It's 
not okay hang on can we like I can't even see it poison cloud there there we go oh well somebody is on the zombie is on the vent oh my gosh a corpse just fell a greater zombie they're on the vents, which to me means they're gonna stand up and they're gonna cause problemos. Well, they're on the vents, which makes me think they should be covering things up. But they aren't. Like, it's coming out of here. There's gotta be a way to turn things off. Or are we just supposed to tank it? Because I'm- I can definitely do that. It looks like the um, shadow or the poison clouds only in a limited area. Okay, whew, all right. So it did work to drop some clothes and put it on top of the van. Nice. It does do damage too, which is cool. I didn't realize. Like I, I realized it a little bit ago, but. Um, the turn undead does damage as well to them. So, that's exciting. It's really been nice having Shadowheart, jeez. With this, oh, don't die, Shadowheart. <laughs> um, with her uh, turning undead, and we've, we've been in a lot of undead situations right now. It's one of the reasons I wanted to be a paladin is for the turn undead. Uh, or for the, some of the undead aspects. Um, so that's been cool. Kind of. Okay. Let's get on with Let's it. Bring Shadowheart out. Left most door has been wiped clean. Okay, see I walked through here. Cause like I, I couldn't find anywhere to do a vent. Like I couldn't find a vent in here. But I was like, surely there has to be something. Why this? There has to be something here, right? Like it's the only place that still has poison cloud that I can't seem to do anything with, unless I had maybe uh, Gale who could like do wind stuff, you know. Um, and so I was like, "There's got to be maybe a perception check or something." And lo and behold, there was. Let's see though. What's we got inside? some bodies to loot. So the leftmost door apparently has has been used in recent memory. What's hiding here? There is like a little tiny bit of poison cloud I think still floating around that I can see. But I'm trying to not be too fussed about a lever. I'm trying not to be too fussed about it, not too fussed about the lever. Maybe the lever will turn off the poison. More likely think that the lever is something to do with the door, but let's actually separate. So I'm the only one who's got to lock tight. There must be another way through. The leftmost door apparently had something, and then there's this door, the morgue lab door. Let's well, let's see where where things take us. Oh, actually, I've been recording, well, I've been recording for an hour. I don't know if the episode will be, the episode won't be near that long, but I think I should probably go ahead and call it here. That's crazy. <laughs> I've been fighting a lot, and I haven't said a lot, so uh, hopefully it's good. But, um, yeah, so where we're at now, we've got three options. I can't see, really, into any of them. This was that hidden room we went into. We have a door here with a lever we can't do, a locked door here, and an open door here. So we'll go through the open door and see what happens. I have keys, but I think they're like library keys. I didn't see anything with a morgue key, but we'll see where this goes. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.